Here we're going to do an example to calculate the elevation of the boiling point of a solution and the solvent here is water when we add some sol solute to it. In this case we're going to add sucrose. So here the question says what will be the boiling point of one kilogram of water if 500 grams of sucrose which is C12O11H22 is added to it. And so the equation of course says that the change in the boiling Point temperature is equal to the constant for water, which is 0.514 Kelvin per kilogram of water per mole of solute added. We multiply it times the moles of solute and divide it by the kilograms of solvent. In this case, we have one kilogram of the solvent water, but now we also have to figure out how many moles of sucrose we have. How many moles is 500 grams of sucrose? So first we need to find the molar mass of sucrose. So the molar mass <clears throat> is equal to all right, let's find out how many we have for carbon. We have 12 molecules of carbon and they each have a mass of 12 grams. So it's 12 grams times 12, which is equal to 144 grams for the carbon. We have 11 oxygen molecules so for oxygen. We have 16 grams per atom. Did I say molecules? I really meant to say atoms. So we have 16, uh, 16 grams per atom. We have 11 atoms. That is 176 grams. And finally for hydrogen uh, per atom it's one gram for hydrogen. And that's of course for a mole of hydrogen, not, a, not an atom. And uh, we have, let's see here, 22 of them. So that would be another 22 grams. So this would be the molar mass for sucrose. So that's 4 plus 6, that's 10, that's 2, 1, that's 5, 12, 4, 1. That's 342 grams for one mole of sucrose. So how many moles are we adding if we add 500 grams? So to find that, we need to get this equation together. So the number of moles of sucrose is equal to the mass added, which would be 500 grams, divided by the number of grams per mole. So that would be the molar mass. So we divide by the molar mass, and that gives us the number of moles. Of course, for that, we need a calculator. So we have 500 divided by 342 and we get 1.462 moles. So now that we know the number of moles of solute added to one kilogram of water, we're now ready to find the change in the boiling point. So the change in the boiling point is equal to, and let's see here, I don't need that because that's going to be different. That was from the previous problem. All right. <clears throat> So that's going to be equal to the constant 0 0.514 uh, Kelvin times kilogram per mole. We multiply it times the number of moles of the solute, which we found to be 1.462 moles, and the number of kilograms of the solvent, which in this case we used one kilogram. Notice that the kilogram cancels out, the moles cancels out, and we're left with Kelvin. That would be the change, the increase in the temperature. So 0 0.514 times 1.462 equals and so the boiling temperature would be increased by 0 0.751 Kelvin. All right, we add that to the 100 degrees, so that would be 100 degrees centigrade plus 0 0.751 centigrade degrees. So you can either write Kelvin or centigrade degrees, add them together. We have a new boiling point of 100, 100 0.751 degrees centigrade and that would be about three quarters of a degree increase in boiling temperature because we added about a mole and a half of sugar to a kilogram of water and that's how you figure it out.